Has this ever happened to you? Or maybe this? If you ever have trouble shrinking uh, window tint in the corners, believe it or not, it might not actually be your fault. Sometimes it is the film. So this is an actual clip from a class that I taught. And uh, the student brought in his own uh, Lexan film. He spent $1,500 on a full setup because he got recommended a bunch of it um, in, in my own Facebook group. And we can see him shrinking along here. Some parts of this look actually pretty good. And you can see most of this window has already been shrunk up to this point. But when you get lower, uh, you start working yourself into a bit of a problem. Um, if you put a little bit too much heat in one particular spot or maybe not enough heat and then the film starts to bunch up together and before you know it you have these like sideways creases um, and these tension lines and it's basically unrecoverable at this point it's just completely scrapped so this is a follow-up uh, a little later on in the class we were using pro classic um, for parts of it and you can just see the consistency in here is way different. So we ended up jumping back and forth between Pro Classic and Lexan. And what I really noticed from watching other people trying to use it, and also myself, was Lexan requires you to shrink in two different styles where something like Pro Classic is very straightforward. So this is a Dodge Charger, and this is one of the most difficult common back windows that you're gonna see. Once you've tinted this one a handful of times, it's not gonna be a big deal anymore. But when you first get one of these, if you're not really used to shrinking, this one is definitely gonna be a tough one for you. It's a very uh, consistent curve throughout, and you can just see how much film starts to bunch up towards the bottom. So what I did is I laid out Lexin. Uh, this is their HSA Carbon, and this isn't a video to just rag on Lexin. This is a problem that I have seen over and over. Somebody asks uh, in my Facebook group or just the other tinners, hey, what tint do you think I should start with? What tint is gonna save me some money? Also gonna be a decent quality. And I will see time and time again, people recommending uh, films like this in particular, a cheap uh, carbon film, which sounds good, right? You save some money, you get that carbon technology in it, you're excited, you're ready to go. Well, the problem is going to be you're going to get halfway through shrinking something like this. And then the film is going to require so much more heat and so much more attention to detail. And, and basically, you have to be a lot more aggressive with the heat the farther that you go with it. So if you don't really know how to handle that heat, you're going to cause uh, the same situation that we saw earlier. You're going to see where the film starts to crease together. So this is going to be a video more on... If, you're, if you have this film, this is how you need to approach it. So you can see everything is kind of looking very straightforward and very even. It's just taking me longer to do. And you might say, hey, Matt, it's not that big of a deal. I can take a little bit longer on a car if I can save some extra money on it. It's really not that, not that big of a deal. But what's going to happen is if you, if you already are familiar with shrinking, then sure, go ahead. But if you're brand new to shrinking, you just, you need a win. You need to be able to start somewhere where you know you can knock it out because um, shrinking is difficult enough. You're, you're going to see the beginning, you're going to watch my videos, and then you're going to get to this point and you're like, no matter how many times I try this, Matt, this just isn't that straightforward. What What's the deal here? And the first quarter of this goes quickly it goes very straightforward it is if you were to put one film versus the other i wouldn't be able to tell you much of a difference at all when we start going through more and more of this back window it gets slower and slower and then i have to progressively put a lot more heat get the heat gun a lot closer it's always moving uh it's always at an angle i'm just really trying to keep that heat going so even if i have it more focused in one area you can see I'm kind of wiggling the heat gun a little bit because I'm trying to distribute that heat uh, in an area rather than on one focus point. So that's always very important no matter what film you're shrinking and what you're doing. Um, don't shrink all too much in one spot or you ruin the whole window. But with this film, is it'll start going slowly or it, it'll go relatively quickly. And then the further you go, the slower and slower it's gonna get, the more heat it's gonna require. And then you're gonna start carting the film down early and that's gonna cause you to pinch and crease the film. 
ahead of when it's actually shrunk. So you can see I never swipe my felt card uh, anywhere that I haven't shrunk. If I push it too fast down, then it's just not gonna lay right. So here we jump back up into the passenger front corner. Um, and you can see we're, we're five minutes into this video and we're just getting to the top half. Where in a lot of my previous videos, uh, just shrinking a back glass, I'm stretching for time here. Like it, it's five and a half, six minutes and I'm done shrinking a back window. So we're halfway through. This is definitely taking longer to do. And you can see, you can make this film look relatively straightforward and and pretty pretty smooth to shrink. Um, it's just gonna require a lot more heat. And I hope this video kind of gets that point across. Um, it, it's gonna it's gonna trail on a little bit, but bear with me. It just I, I'm gonna repeat it over and over because I just I I don't want there to be a ton of confusion around a film like this. Yes, you can save money. You can practice on door windows. You could snap shrink door windows, install them. You'd be totally fine. Back windows would be great for installation. The only problem where you're really going to struggle is shrinking something like this. So when it comes to spending money on film when you're first starting, I'm going to have links in the description uh, that'll outline some, some places where you can get some good film without having to spend too much money. Because it's not that you don't have to like i'm not i'm not trying to push you to spend more money on a film just to start out and practice with and throw a bunch of it in the garbage while you learn that's that's not the point here the point is just with this film in particular you really need to take a step back <laughs> go look at a couple of different ones um because you're gonna work yourself into a lot of problems just just starting out with a film like this one I'll, I'll have some cheaper options that I, that I know are gonna be easier to shrink that you're not gonna have to spend a lot of money on either. It just, this one, it just gets so promoted. I, I just want people to be careful when, when picking something like this. It, it's definitely something, like I said, I don't wanna harp on it too much, um, but you're just gonna have to use a lot more heat. Things are gonna go a lot slower for you because you're gonna get to this point in particular. Like we're coming into the last quarter here um where we only have a few more inches of film that we have to shrink but that's where this film gets really difficult and takes a lot more heat and it's just really tough to try and keep the whole thing smooth this is where i actually work myself into a little bit of a problem um so i had this client waiting up front and i'm trying to shrink this charger back window uh for this video and i get into the last part of it and mind you i still have to go back through with the film that he actually bought. I was making this video uh, with this film and then I was gonna swap it out uh, for uh, the Pro Classic 20 on the back. So this is the, the Lexan HSA uh, 20%. You can see right there, I do basically the exact same thing that the student did right there. I just put too much heat in one particular spot and that's where you can see this pinch point starting to form. Um, it's past the line so it's, it's still, I would say it's probably going to be okay. Um, but I'm going to sweep these fingers out and this is exactly what happens. You put a little bit, bit too much heat in one particular spot, but you needed a lot of heat to begin with to shrink this film down. And then you just, it, it all starts creasing together right there. And there's no way to recover from that. That is done. So. Then when we switch over uh, to something like Pro Classic, which is a nice, straightforward, uh, dyed film, this stuff will just shrink so much better. And I have nothing but good things to say about all their films as far as shrinking goes. Um, but this, you don't just need to use Pro Classic. Like I said, I'll have links in the description with some other films. I'm not just trying to be a geo pusher here. I just, the films that I use, and I want you to pay attention to how much more consistent a film like this is gonna be throughout the entire shrink. So you really don't have to try and change up your style. That You might have to put the heat gun a little bit closer, um, or you will have to put the heat gun a little bit closer, but it still goes incredibly fast compared to what we were just doing uh, with the Lexan. So we're already coming into uh, near the bottom part here, and it's still shrinking really, really fast. The only thing that's, that's gonna be slowing it down is me deciding where I wanna put that heat. And then boom, there we go, one quarter done. So I, I definitely wanted to hang around and show the entire process of this back window. Um, 
or the entire shrinking process of this back window because it's just a tough window in general to shrink. So by me slowing down a little bit more uh, with the uh, with the Lexan, you'll be able to understand um, just what I'm looking for when I'm trying to get the film to lay down. I'm always uh, waiting for it to get really close to the glass. You see those sideways pockets starting to form. That's just essentially meaning that it, it's it's pretty flat against the glass. And then we just brush the film down, um, you know, smooth it out on the window to, to check the shrink on it and kind of keep things organized as we go throughout. Oh my God, this stuff is so much faster. I just, I'm always impressed. I'm always impressed with, with like, I, I get so used to seeing this. And then I was just watching the time, uh, the timeline on this video. And we got to about nine minutes uh, before we started switching to the other one, which <laughs> most videos, I'm getting to like four or five minutes. So I shrink this one in about half the time, uh, maybe a little bit longer. But those few minutes really aren't enough to sway me. It's just having to change up your style entirely. So like I said, when you're when you're first starting out, um, this is a story from uh, one of the first classes that I taught. There were a couple students, they took on the hardest uh, window to shrink. When we got into practicing shrinking, uh, we were doing the windshield on a Nissan Altima. It was, it was a newer one. It was definitely a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. And they figured if they started on the hardest window first, they were gonna be able to, like, then they could, they could shrink anything. And I can understand thinking that way, but when you're learning, you need to be able to shrink a full window. So taking on something a little bit easier, giving yourself some advantages is gonna teach you things that you take right on to the harder windows. And then you can get that win, build up some confidence and really understand what you're doing and then get into the harder windows. Where if you just start with a harder film and then you take that over to something that's a little bit more challenging, a lot of times, it's just gonna kick your ass over and over and you're never gonna quite understand what you're doing wrong. You're gonna watch some videos, you're gonna, you're gonna be questioning like, what the hell am I doing differently? It looks the exact same thing that he's doing. Sometimes it is the film, especially with how much I've been seeing that film get pushed. So just <laughs> try a couple of different things if you need to, or feel free to join the live streams and ask me um and then post some footage too in the facebook group and you can get some feedback on exactly what you're doing um but really this film is very consistent throughout and there'll be quite just there's so many other films that'll be very similar to this as far as shrinking goes so always try and get a uh basically a less expensive dyed film if you're gonna practice that's probably would be my number one piece of advice there uh, so carbon films are just the carbon ceramic when they're in the cheap range, they're going to be harder. They're going to take longer to shrink. That's just part of their nature, really from, from day one that I've seen them, they were rubbery, they were harder to shrink. Now the better ones are easier to shrink a lot easier than they ever have been. And they're always improving, but still the cheaper ones tend to be a little bit more difficult. So that's all. I didn't want to be too biased, so you can just understand my sentiment here. Good luck, guys.